everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through how I style my shorter length hair. So do follow along, I hope it's easy, I hope you enjoy and if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up down there and subscribe for videos every Sunday at 7 o'clock. day two hair so I washed my hair yesterday if you are washing your hair and you're styling it straight after the only thing I would say is if you're blow drying try and get as much root as possible as much root lift um, use a really good barrel brush I'm just looking at my brush use a big barrel brush like this this is one of the um, Ibiza hair brushes uh, and these are really great actually because they've got the cork um, handles so they're not really heavy and you're really getting the root when you're blow drying and pulling because that tension when you blow dry, um, it means that you get a really you get a really nice lift. With a shorter hairstyle, you want that movement and uh, you want it to look natural, even though it does take time to get there. So when I wash my hair, I just used a uh, kind of pretty standard shampoo and conditioner, and then protection is so important. So I love this. It's um, a blow dry primer. It makes blow drying faster, and it just really gives your hair. Um, that heat protection without giving it a massive film. So this is a product that I'll use next. It's uh, again by Dabiner. This is an invisible serum. It's for set, set well, I can't speak. It's for satiny Tussled looks. So all you want literally is a pea sized amount, any more than that, and you're just wasting product. And you just put it through the ends of your hair. And what that does is separate uh, the ends and just makes it really loose. So when you do go to curl it and then you do kind of um, feather them all through, uh, you get that separation which is what you want. So as I said, this is day two hair. So all I'm going to do now, reach for this. This is fantastic. It's the Hair Shield. If you've got this up here, you want about 12 or 13 squirts in total. So all I do, now I've got really thick hair um, and even I will just separate it into two. So if you've got fine hair, again, just separate it into two. I'll then just separate it once at the back. So you've got kind of like pigtails. I'll just give it a little brush through. When you're curling your hair, you want to have um, the curls around your face going backwards because it really frames your face, but then you want the rest just kind of mix and match. So some curled forward and some curled back. Um, but yeah, so I've separated it into two. I'll probably work with four in this section. Grab it from the root, twist it slightly, and then just curl it around. Be careful um, to leave about an inch at the bottom because you want to have a straight end, not a curled end, so an inch usually works quite well. We, there we go. Again, just pinch it, put it, and this one is towards the face. So again, you're going to split the hair into four pieces. One, two, three, four. Because we did the last one away from us, we're going to do this one towards you guys. Now we've done the bottom half, we can go ahead and just do the top half. I normally just select about this much of the top half, just to keep aside, because I think this is the um, kind of fringy area that you'll be looking at a bit later, so you want to just keep that a bit separate for now. And now we can come back to the fringe. Now, what I would say is always try and keep this in a centre parting because when you when you do the curls backwards and then you go to put it over on the side, it really frames your face a bit nicer and that's how you get that kind of um, forward overhang as opposed to all kind of being back off your face. So if we just do, say, this one towards you, And then this one will go back, but it's quite good actually to split this one into two so you have smaller pieces. I always like to go um, quite high up towards the root as well, just because I think if you get a bit more of a wave from the root, it tends to, ah, tends to give it tends to give you a bit more volume. And then the other side matching, so you want this one forward. Okay. 
So I'm going to turn this off and hopefully it won't burn my fingers anymore. Um, do wear that glove because literally, look. Okay, so now we've got the curls. As you can see, they are looking quite tight. If you want to go back and do a few more, um, just where they might have dropped a little, you can, but I personally don't see the point. So what I will use next is a drop of the oil oil. Um, because this is day two hair, I'm not going to go overboard. If I just wash my hair, I'll probably use about two or three pumps. And all you want to do is just put it into your fingertips. Don't go from the root with this, just push it back from the middle and the ends of your hair. Because if you go from the root, it obviously makes it a bit greasy. But I love this because it's, it just separates the curls without making it look really sticky. And I think the, the movement just looks so much nicer than if you were to plaster hairspray on. And now what we're going to do is take a chunk, I would say go in about an inch, and then you just want to fold it over. And then what that does is give you that lovely kind of over the one eye. So next, this to me is the most important, it's the finishing spray. It's a little bit like dry shampoo, but more of a formula that um, is really specific for this kind of length and this kind of style of hair. So you want to go for texture, you want to go for lift, and you want movement. Those are the three key things. So I just, you don't want a lot of this either, and also it's quite expensive, so less is more. You just a little squirt from the root, just to separate it. And then, it's so awkward trying to look in this mirror. Now I sometimes get a bit of static here, that's just because of the way my hair is. It's naturally um, really quite curly and uh, it tends to have a mind of its own sometimes. So all I like to do is just flatten it down a bit there. Um, and then because you've put some curls towards your face, that's how you get this lift here. So we'll just choose that one up a little bit. And then, oh, whoopsie. And then this, I'll just curl, wrap around my fingers, just for a loose finish. And then, and then that's it.